says certain episodes you have to be a split member, some of them are free. Look on justdoves.com. They Just seem dub. to have several. Okay. Um, someone had a cool had it. But number four on my list for this week. This is so popular. They, they're yeah. bound to have it. Yeah. Number four. I mean, everybody talks about it. I just... And I've looked for it and looked for it. I'm just... I'm not a fan of the guy who made one of these. She. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just not a fan. I, and it's mainly the art style. I'm just not a fan. I can understand that. I can yeah, understand it that. Is little, well, it is a little Then you're pretty there. much like It's, it's kind of a like random thing when you look at it. But I feel like it suits it because it's trying to show a pirate's life or a sea adventurer's life. It's like when you go out, you will see things you will not expect. It's like a pirate life on LSD. Hey, hey, it, hey. It's like Mr. Fantastic decided to It's like, it's it's like, it's like it's like um, exhibit. Yo, dog. I heard you like pirates on LSD. So we put your LSD on your LSD. So you quit LSD while you LSD. Here's the thing, though. I feel like it suits it because think of the guy who made Alice in Wonderland. Oh, yeah. What was my his point. profession? Trading over the sea. <laughs> I just want a good anime that's a pirate anime. Yeah, he also spent the, the, the last part of his life in insane asylum. Hold on a moment now. Okay, number four that's on top of this list for this week is. Eden of the East. I love it. Love this it. This one. I, Eden I of the love East. Love I want to point anime. out. Talk to Mrs. Dorfboy about this one. I just read, you know, online or whatever. It actually received an 8.1 rating out of 10. And even yeah. IMDb gave it a 7.8 out of 10. How many episodes yeah. were there for that series? Uh, just 13? 13? No. Yeah. I think there were just 13. No, 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 no. There's no. only 11. There's 11 That's episodes. That's right. It was a really There's short. There's 11 episode. episodes for that first season. And we're halfway through the first episode of the second season? It's, 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 movies. it's just... It's one season yeah. in movies. And two movies. That's no, it. But we have, like, four discs. Those are all movies? Maybe. Because I've only watched one movie. I've watched, the se- I've watched the season, and I've watched the movie right after the season. I haven't that's watched the King of Eden. And King, King of Eden, and now there's another one, which is Paradise Lost, which I'm going to be getting here soon and everything, because it actually finished when, the story. When you're, you, when you're done watching that one, I definitely need to watch it, because I'm so invested in, in Eden. I'm so in, invested in I've been watched it. I've been watched it also, Me because too, it's yeah. such a great series. Like, but here's I'm, the thing. Oh. Okay, I got an idea. The idea is... We need to have a movie night for Paradise Lost. I agree. I'm, I'm for that. And I bet we need to have a movie thing. night for a lot more than that. Paradise Lost. We need to have Lost. a movie weekend. Paradise Lost, I think, should be one that we can all sit down together to watch and everything. No, uh, that I'm way not we can watch it all together and not spoil it for anyone until we can watch it all together. And yeah. that, I see, would be fair. We need a movie okay. and fair. anime weekend where we just come over here Friday night. And we don't leave until Sunday night, just watching anime. Sometimes you can't do that. That's why you get, like, requests the weekend off. <laughs> <laughs> but in all honesty, even the even the East it's is very such a good post one. 9-11. It's very... Oh, it is. It, it, yeah. yeah, it, it yeah. very much is. But it's such a wonderful series. I got Dad watching it a couple of nights ago because I had it left in the DVD player and everything. So what did Pop think of it? He's been watching it. He's been watching it. He, was, he went back to the beginning. I didn't and, think it would catch my attention. And mm-hmm. then when I started watching it, I could not put it down. I know. It was the same with me. Like, mm-hmm. I picked it up on iTunes. Like I had the money to buy the entire series on iTunes. Movies. And then when I bought it, I was like, I'm probably making a big mistake by buying this because I've never seen it, never heard of it. I watched the first episode, and by the end of the night... I had watched it twice through because it's like it's so interesting. I love it. I bought mine at Impact this year. Well, it's just like that first week; it was already done. The like, cellar so styles. I mean, the, the whole thing about cellar styles—they drop yeah. you into the middle of this thing. You've got no idea what's going on. You got to watch. You got like ten million dollars to make the world. Ten billion. billion. Yen. Hey, that's what I said. Eight point two billion, 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 billion yen. 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 Sorry, yen, yes. Ten billion yen to make the world a better place. Which is like three point five million dollars or something? Something like that, yeah. But well, it's not a lot of money. Mm-mm. Well the thing is with how it goes and everything, it's who he gave the money to because out of all these people that all of them does different things with it. One of them is a doctor who pretty much used the money to help with his hospital and everything, mm-hmm. do all this. 
and it's such great, you know, he does that for him. Another person that uses the, the money is she's a serial killer. Yeah. And but have, she's not just a normal serial killer. No. There's a, something real special about this girl that takes time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think, like, a little bit in the movie style, she'll explain that a bit about her, too. But then you have the other one who is a film director and everything, mm -hmm. who pretty much, um, like, I guess the voice in the phone does not like him <laughs> at all. Couldn't imagine why. You know what I'm talking about. You've been watching it. You know exactly. She's like, who are you? Like, oh, come on. But it's also bringing in, like, this love interest, too. So mm -hmm. it's not really just all serious. There's actually a... Like a mm -hmm. romance to it, too, as well. There's a romance to it. It's got a great mystery feel to it. If you're liking mysteries, and all, it's really, really good and everything. And just how it all binds together. It's got comedy into it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just really, really interesting. It just keeps you guessing what's going to take place. That's what you want in a good story. You want something that's going to get you on the edge of your seat. It's like, oh, my goodness gracious. Every episode is like that. Yeah. You better locate me in that other movie, Catch. I have to come after you. <laughs> well, okay. Well, let me finish this up. Because i got two <laughs> other ones I'm going to do. Uh, one is a movie. Um, I'm, I'm, people, I'm sorry if I get the title of this wrong and everything. Because I wrote the thing down fast. It is um, Tales of Vaspria, a movie that they did based oh, off yeah. the game. That's, yeah. Yeah. I found it at uh, Great Escape and everything when I went up to Nashville. Now, isn't um, Karibo in the game for that one, or am I thinking of another one? It's another one. Another one, okay. Mm -hmm. But it's such a great little uh, oh, movie. Oh, I think I was trying to know. This one's based off the Xbox game that they did. That's at. right. I'm thinking of Tales of the Abyss, because I had Tales of the Abyss when I played it, and I loved it, and that's yeah. the one I was thinking of. And this one pretty much gives you more of the, the backstory of the, one of the main characters who's playing gotcha. the game and everything. It is really, really good. I love the story. The artwork is phenomenal. And the characters that, sh that shows up in the game are in this movie and everything, just like it should have been. Cool. And it's really, really done very, very well. The story keeps you guessing and all. Really, really good. I enjoyed it. And the honorable mention I have for this week of the top five that I've been rewatching again is Blue Exorcist. Yeah. I love this series. I said I had to start watching it again uh, last night. So when I started watching it, love it. It's so unbelievable. Give me a description of what Blue Exorcist is because I've heard about it, but yes. I'm not. And Daryl's also in this it. anime as well. So is Bryce. Bryce is, yeah, Bryce uh, Papenbrook does the main character and everything in Blue Exorcist. His name is Ren. Uh, Ren has a twin brother who is uh, played by John Yon Bosch. Yeah, good old Jimmy. <clears throat> yes. But um, the brothers and everything, but they are brothers. They don't look a lot and everything. Ren is always kind of more like got anger issues and stuff like that. Well, his brother's more calm and quiet and everything, and more of a studier. And well, his brother's just like to throw tantrums and everything. But you find in the they live at, at a what do you want to say like a church and everything. Yeah, they pretty much live at a church because the one who takes care of them is a priest. And he's raised them there since they were young. The thing is, you find out that they both are sons of Satan. The thing is, Ren has really awakened his demon, the devil powers and everything. And they decided when the the the, the priest that took care of him when he did the thing, he uh, this you know there was, uh, an exorcist group came to take him out but Ren wants to become an exorcist to fight the devil and everything. So what genre do you think this would be classified under if somebody was going to go try to find it? If you find it and everything it's yeah, got it's fantasy. it's fantasy it's got action into it it's got a little bit of it's got comedy into it. One of you Ghost Rider. Uh, Not really. No. We did it kind of, kind of underworldly, maybe. Kind of underworldly and everything, but it's really it's got some comedy, funny things, some supernatural. Yeah, bit, that's well. Pretty much is yeah. what it is. 
because like I said when ren has got this sword and everything when he opens the sword when he awakens his full de uh, demon powers his ears turns like pointy and everything he grows fangs he's got a tail he's got claws and he's got this blue fire that goes over him and everything he's just the so cutest little ball very of much fire. fantasy yeah. yeah he's the son of Satan but man he's, he's the cutest he's the cutest little ball of anger son of Satan yeah. I've ever seen in my life <laughs> but when he puts the sword back into the sheath the flame goes uh, away and everything <clears throat> but and his ears goes from the long points to a shorter point it still keeps the fang and now he's still got his tail and that's how it is it's, like I said it's real funny because you find out that uh, who runs this, the whole organization for these um, exorcists and everything is another uh, son of the devil his name is uh, Mr. You know, I can't yeah, really say I his name. Either, but, yeah. but he's such a great character also. He's hilarious. And it's just really an interesting story to watch. I yeah. enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying the, the voices in it who worked on it and everything. Yeah. The story is amazing. Uh, like I said, there's like 25 episodes and there's also a movie of it. Right. And it's really, really good. That's my honorable mention for this uh, week. But... Uh, couple of things I want to say and shout out about with anime news and everything. One that Crown mentioned to us uh, to put on the podcast and yeah. he sent it to me through my uh, Facebook. I'm super excited for that. Yes. I would have watched this series completely um, subbed and everything. I can't wait to hear it dubbed. Yeah. I saw the trailer today. I'm amazed. And that is Iron Blood Orphans, everybody. Mobile Suit Gundam is coming to Toonami. Next week, I believe it's when yeah, it's next that. Saturday. Next Saturday, it's when it's going to be airing. I can't wait. Dude, you're always getting a lot of good stuff. Oh yeah, first was the, the Dimension W, which mm -hmm. was amazing. Which was really interesting is because they released the English version of Dimension W out faster on Tsunami than they did on Funimation.com. Really? Yes. No joke. Nice. It's like you was watching a new episode of Dimension W first on Tsunami before they released it online. Which, That's cool. Yeah, I, I know. And Dimension W was a great series. I thought mm -hmm. it's really short and everything. Like what, twelve episodes, thirteen episodes? I think so yeah. But it was really good and everything. Wouldn't you agree, Shroud? Did you see Dimension W? No, I don't think I have. Really but interesting. <clears throat> there is a new anime made by Netflix. Ne Netflix has made about four animes right now. Yeah, they got, um, I know they got that one called Seven Daily Sins yeah, and everything. They also have Knights of Sidonia. I personally enjoyed that. And it was like there's another one space. called The Glitter really? Force, yeah. but that's like a little kid's show. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the only description yeah. I can give Knights of Sidonia is it's like Titans in, Attack on Titan in space. It, it is. It has like certain um, Attack on Titan, but at the same time, I feel like it has... And I know I need to see more of it, so I can't really be a professional at this. Mm -hmm. But Avengalian. Oh, um, yeah. it did have it, some Avengalian. It did, and and I kind of like this. One, but the, this new anime that they made, just made season one, thirteen episodes, is Ajin. Um And when I thought about it, when I first played it, uh, it it seems like the animators are the same guys who made Knights of Sidonia. Mm -hmm. Writers and directors, I'm not sure. I need to look into that, but um, when I first watched this, it had a pretty good story. Uh, it's a, it's like real world, but there's one thing in this world: these Ajins. You can kill them over and over. We're talking about any way, bullet to the head, decapitation, anything. They will grow back whatever part, whatever that injured that. Let's say they had a broken leg, then you kill them. They'll get right back up, and that broken leg never happened. So it, it's with these dark particles that kept on bringing them to life, and they could even use these dark particles to make these creatures that are sort of invisible to some people, but sometimes if you're in total fear, you can see them. But when I watched it, I started to go, oh, it's going to be some mystical force that no one can explain. No. It's actually a certain element that exists and defies all laws of physics. And it does exist in this world. Mm -hmm. Dark matter. I was like, this is pretty interesting, dark matter. And another thing was the government were taking these Ajins into a secret lab and studying them. And I'm like, oh, they're going to get the Ajins and try to find the secret power of youth, that the uh, eternal life that these Ajins have. I'm wrong again. 
They are using these engines to test out their newest weapons, to see how deadly they are, to use them in their benefit. Again, I'm like, wow, wrong on two accounts. When, when I see an anime that I think is predictable and it keeps getting me wrong and surprising me, that gets me hooked.